They distorted your voice a lot? Yes. I mean, well, I mean, all, all voices are distorted uh, when you put them through one of the, the box things. It's a tech priest. Yeah. I don't know if my... Well, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> The gun you came back for, it's fine. I'm too distracted. Yep. It's like a baby with keys. Listen to them jingle. Got a clip? Did you guys did you guys want to hear the uh, the voice thing one more time? I'm only gonna do it once. Then you have to see it on YouTube or something. <laughs> Alright. We'll do it, we'll do it one time. And uh, for the record, the the um, the dudes working with them was super cool. I, I've done uh, a, a bit of voice work over the last few years, and uh, these guys were were very chill about everything. They were very cool. So anyway, this is uh, this was the the log that I recorded um, that we found so far. This? Foul Xenos invaded in wave upon wave of claws and mandibles. Sacred machines drip oil and moi. Cogs and gears split. How wasteful to lay waste all that could bear the fruit of knowledge. What if Nozick's work is lost in the broken circuitry? I salvage what I can, but the mindless hordes, knowing nothing, are ravenously unsatiated. This war has done too much damage to our sacred machines. Too much knowledge has been lost. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, and for the record, I, I'm... That was about 20% me and 80% their post-processing. But, <laughs> but yeah, that was, uh, it was very cool. They were very patient with me. Um, as I as I slowly got all of the English nuance down, which I got about I'd say I got, I got about halfway there. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice then. Oh, I have no camera. I mean, is that the worst thing? You know, maybe we should have just left it off for the day. Oh god, I was wondering if I could. Mm, let's see. Special tactics ready. Um, I think we might want to go ahead and get another gun since we're, looks like we may be done with these little things. Although we keep getting ammo for it, which is a bit telling. Chiron, what is our heading? We need to cross this room. O okay, <laughs> sounds like a good plan. What's our heading? Forward. Okay. That is the way we are moving. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah, there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Chat, which way should I go? Through the room? Fantastic, okay. Let's go. Oh, hi. How oh, awkward. Target destroyed. Astrobot has got a 94 on Metacritic. Good for them, dude. Hell yeah, man. That's what we're talking about. I have zero plans to even look at Astrobot. Now I'm wondering if we should. Full armor, but no helmet. Uh, Herer, it's very interesting. The Warhammer 40K universe, actually, and this is a little known fact, actually follows the same premise as much Japanese animation. And what that is, is it act, the more iconic the character, the more skin they show, the higher their armor class. 
So as you become upper uh, upper space marine, the the less helmet you wear, the more of your head you're exposed. Actually, the higher chance you will survive. That's how it works. Uh, it's the same with with clothing. Again, in Japanese anime, the more skin you're showing, the higher your armor class. So it's this interesting like reverse dichotomy that goes on in the two different mediums. Um, very interesting. Requires a lot of, especially in the Japanese animation side, requires lots of research, diligent research. Um, but it's you know it's 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 uh, it's an interesting trope. Yeah. <clears throat> We are ready for this. I am ready. Okay, I can zoom it. Does hitting Y do anything for my gun? I might have asked that before, but I completely forgot the answer. Okay. Do it for research? Uh, let me see here. What does it say that it does? Can I even look at that in the... Increases potential and durability. Is that like momentum? Do not get too close. Cover my reload. Bro, what is the Emperor protects? Dude, total plague tail vibes. Wait, what? How am I supposed to avoid that? I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to do here. Am I, am I just moving forward, I guess? Oh man, but that's like impossible. <laughs> um. Let me go over here. Oh no! Um My weapon is empty. Bro, I have no clue what they expect me to do right now. My armor is breached to multiple points. <laughs> Girl, I I am going as oh, I'm doing as much as I can here. Oh my god! Can you please have some more HP? <laughs> Oh my god, this is just so good at this point. I don't even have any ammo, dude! What? <sighs> yeah, those guys, I, I think I might be trying to attack them wrong. I think there's like some kind of gimmick to those guys that I don't understand. Like, you've, there, there's no way that those things are that tanky. They seem to have some kind of shield. Like, maybe we're supposed to, like, override the shield or something. There's no way that's intended. That's that's kind of dumb as it stands. So, it's got, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe we can hit him with those grenades. All right, this time let's just do this. Do not get too close. Let's see if we can do this.
God, it's like play. It's like Alien, dude. It's crazy. Am I hitting him? I don't think I'm hitting him. I mean, I think I killed it. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. So I think grenades, sticky grenades, seem to be the best way to do that. Yep. We have set a mighty pyre this day. Tenanted bio signs down 90% and falling. Swarm annihilation confirmed. Excellent work. Move to extract. Yeah, that was freaking great, dude. That was awesome. All right. So new new technique on the flying guys is see if we can find some nearby uh, what are they? Crack grenades. <laughs> And um, toss him up there. Restocking. Yep, that seemed to be the play. Mm. All right, let's take a look down here. Then we need this guy. We'll go ahead and cap off. Actually, let's save it. We may be able to heal up on the next guys. Oh, Cyber Z Optics. Let's let's fix that for next time, huh? <laughs> there we go, buddy. Sorry about that. Oh, Rich too. I'm gonna get you too, Rich. One sec. Alright, we got both of you guys. We good. Let's keep moving. Sprinkle a little crack grenade on him. Sir. Sir. Loading up. Is that a sniper beam? Yes. Um. Swapping magazines. Ah. A fine gift from the fall. Oh god. Doom, doom, doom. Another one. That dead. is such a satisfying sound. Doom. Man, this environment, though. Ooh! I have to reload. So good. Oh, another one. Yeah. A boon that drums. Can you have drums. multiple guardian relics, chat? Will I be playing this with friends at some point? Uh, maybe. If there's if if somebody jumps on that wants to play, maybe. But I I do kind of want to do this the the main story solo, and then once I get to like the the PVE stuff. That's probably when I'm gonna see if anyone else wants to play, or mods, or you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Gears of Warhammer, a little bit, yeah. The zone throw up you fought has a force field around it. Things like crack grenades should work, but even on the tabletop, they're hard to deal with due to that force field. It gives them an invuln save that triggers even when you hit and wound them, and is very powerful. Ah, okay, so they are just super tanky, and we just gotta deal with it. Okay, cool. Hey, good to know, we'll adjust our strategy. Good to know. This will serve me well. Kind of wish we could have like one close range weapon and one long range weapon. But that might be a little OP. By the way, big blanket thank you to all the folks who are gifted. It's been some time since I brought you, death from above. The day is not yet done, brother. Dude. Look 
Look at those packs, man. Woo! How cool. What difficulty are we on? We're on the hardest difficulty. It's called Angel of Death. I frequently get asked, what do your mods look like? Anyway. How y'all doing today? <laughs> Archmagos, we have reached the transmitter. Analysis, efficiency level zero. Ready to deploy special tactics. Here we go. Transmitter at zero state of charge. Move to generators. I can make the repairs myself via the network systems in your honor. Will that interfere with operation? Negative. And keep close proximity to the terminal while I work from home. Oh, God. limited. I'm not going to lie, this has not been my favorite area of the game so far. <laughs> it's a little difficult having to deal with this stuff on the ground and the combat, which is already pretty tough on its own. <laughs> Where are we currently? Uh, Asmigold. I'd like to thank chat for that one, by the way. Does Ko not like Asmongold? Dude, I was in a meeting with him last night. So. Uh, we we're total jokes, my man. Total jokes. Uh. Alright, so now we gotta deal... See, this is the part I don't really get. So we got to deal with like the big guys and the little guys right now. Um, and that's just, that's just a lot. Bro, give me a second. I'm gonna kill this guy, damn it! Okay. <laughs> I don't care if I broke the connection. Ammunition depleted. Munition secured. Nice. Oh, the second generator. Oh, good. The second generator. Try to save as much ammo as we possibly can. Oh, God. Oh. This really is like the Plague Tail mechanic. And it's it's working. It's definitely working. Stabilizing vitals. Is it a flying guy? Oh my god, dude, are you serious right now? 
can do a flying guy right now. Grabbing equipment. Ow. Using crack grenade. So and throw I have no idea if I actually got him, did we? Wait to beat. I think we still need to beat this guy that way. <gasps> Recover, please? Maybe? Oh no! Sad face. Uh, Neko Sword. The roadmap shows later this year there will be a lethal difficulty and new PVE missions. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, and then also we had uh, Kangs earlier. Unfortunately, this seems very lore accurate when fighting Nids. Oh, this is the... Rippers cause a lot yeah. of casualties due to their numbers and swarm tactics. Also, when you kill the bigger Nids, the smaller ones glow green due to link to hive breaking for a moment. We'll give you moment of reprieve. Ah. Incredible eye for detail. Cool. Thank you. And uh, good stuff. How do I like the game so far? Very much enjoying it. Yes. Having a great time. That was our first crash in like four hours. So hopefully, knock on wood, that's <laughs> going to be... If we keep up that, I, I one crash every four hours is not great, but... Yeah. Hopefully, we will not see too much more. This game looks fun with friends. I've heard it's great with friends. I, I haven't watched anyone play with friends yet, but... What is this? I have no idea what that is. Hey, Tri CC, what's up, buddy? Hey, John. Did you hear that Asmongold started playing Core Keeper? I heard, and that is awesome. I, I love that somebody of his level is uh, is bringing more awareness to that game because that game is so good. I can't wait to return to it. Yeah, that's great, dude. That's awesome. That, that time it did not work. Gosh, these things are so tough to deal with. Anything we can do. Get down here! Ah! I hate these things so much! These are the only thing in the game that make me feel like a complete invalid. They, they make me feel terrible as a space marine. These things are sucky. Oh, I hate them. Okay. Everything else feels good except these. Use charge shots? I'm time for charge shots. Everything trying to kill me. The main reason I don't like them is because they make me aim with my controller. They're the only things that like you have to aim with. Everything else you can kind of get away with not being good for the controller, but those you have to actually like be somewhat on point. And I don't like being on point. Is it a skill issue? Obviously. 
And it's a big... Oh, of course, here's... That would have been good. So I think with the when I threw the grenades, I was too far away because apparently those giant armored hands can't make grenades go as far as I want them to. So uh, we have to be a lot closer to, to chuck the grenades at the target. So I have to keep that in mind. Restocking. Mm -hmm. Okay, looking good. Is there a limit of revives on teammate? I think it's one. I, th I think we could be revived a single time by our teammate, and then after that, it's pretty much your good. Okay. I think we're all set here. Freaking awesome. Bridge extension initiated. Activate the control ring console to commence transmission. In fairness, that grenade he threw probably weighs 50 pounds. Interesting. I didn't factor that in. I wonder how many, oh. Recovering. We can only hold two stims total? walk my beautiful metal ass all the way there. Awesome. Do they speak in verbal binary? It's called Binaric. Uh, and, and they do the all the tech priests and uh, the, I think it's the Adeptus Mechanicus. Um, although that may just be a sub-faction. I'm not sure the order of that. But it, the, they, that's how they communicate with each other. It's far more, they can get far more data in a much shorter amount of time. So they don't like talking in flesh speak. Slower. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like an old modem. Yep. If you ever had an old school modem, then you know exactly what Benaric is. Osmegas, confirm receipt of data stream. This is Lirio, transmission received. Nozick is on the Thunderhawk, standing by. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Major Sarkana, what's your status? We've lost a lot of men, a lot of heavy loads, but we're still in the fight. We're coming to you now. Nozick, will they hit? Lirio, do you read me? Major, did you see what happened? No idea. We saw no impact. That is territory claimed by the swarms. We need to reach him fast. There was an armoring chamber below. Jump packs. Sir, the guardsmen. With respect, my lords, we're Cadians. We can take care of ourselves. 